May 1981. The Reagan era was in its early stages. Moviegoers flocked to see Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones. Televisions across the country were tuned to Taxi and Hill Street Blues. And 27-year-old Robert Parrish and a rookie from Minnesota named Kevin McHale teamed with Larry Burr to capture the NBA title for the Boston Celtics, beating the Rockets in Houston. 200 miles north in Dallas, Texas, Larry Johnson was 12 years old. Throughout his high school years, he would watch the storied Celtics. While in Chesapeake, Virginia, Alonzo Mourning was only 11. As he grew, he became familiar with legendary Celtic mystique. 12 years later, Johnson and Mourning are teammates and have led the Charlotte Hornets to their first ever playoff appearance. They travel to the Boston Garden to face the Celtics in game one. Robert Parrish, now the oldest player of the NBA, and Kevin McHale don't subscribe to the notion that in basketball, as in life, the old will eventually give way to the young. And in game one, it was experience that prevailed. Down one game to none, these young Hornets have seen the Celtics' playoff success firsthand. Now can the exuberance of youth overcome the NBA's grand old men in game two? is the NBA on NBC, the 1993 NBA Playoffs. Today, it's the Charlotte Hornets versus the Boston Celtics. Playoffs. It'll be morning in Parrish. The officials, Jess Kersey, Ron Garrison, and Don Baby. Game that would enable him to get himself off. He scored five in game one. Morning got a piece of it, but Uncle Nobby right back. That's good offense. Shot clock now at four. Here's Parrish to the hook, and rebounded by Morning. So take time off the clock, hurry him into one shot. Alley oop for Johnson, got the stick. Larry Johnson set up by Muggsy Bogues. Now Johnson, out for Bogues. And Muggsy Bogues drills it for an 8-6 Hornet lead. Offensively, so they're going at him immediately at the defensive end. Alonzo Morning. Morning on the rebound. You heard the reaction from the crowd. They were looking for a, a charging foul. No call made. Locks out by Morning. Folks for Morning. Alonzo Morning off to the good start. Again, it's Abdul Nabi putting the move on. Harris put the rebound. And the game is tied at 14. Remaining in the first quarter. Pick and roll, but Abdul Nabi could not hit. Looked like Morning got a piece of it. They, they wanted Abdel Nabi to wind up shooting jumpers, not taking it to the basket. The rotation must come a little sooner. The excellent defensive play at that time, a piece of the ball. Kendall Gill. Gill for Johnson. And Parrish gets to it. This the fifth year of existence for the Charlotte Hornets. Larry Johnson with a strong move. He thought he was fouled. That's move. He thought this should be a foul. This type of move, you would get a call during the regular season, but when you jump into the defensive player and he goes straight up and down in the playoffs, it will be no call at all, so don't waste time complaining. Just run on back and play defense of this Celtic team because of how he has the ability to step up during playoff times. And a foul is called. Oh. And fake by Gill, stopped by Parrish. He challenged him again. Morning on the recovery. On the back tap, Gill picks it up. And Gill not able to score. Oh, and it was decided to keep out this afternoon. Here is the X-Man. Rebound, McDaniel. Rebound, McDaniel. And it's knocked out of bounds by Charlotte. Number three in Charlotte, Monday night. Here's Kevin McHale, who came on just a moment ago. And he's ball goes to the scoop. Bowles. Alonzo.
So Warning, who does have an outside touch. For jumpers, today Paris said, I have to pick him up earlier. That time he was left wide open. Paris got the floor. And Kevin McHale, 24 hours under observation at New England Baptist Hospital. Wicked on a fast break lead for Larry Johnson. Shot. That scored that time, Gaddison. Big men run the floor hard for the Hornets. Kevin McHale. Here comes Gamble. Pursuit by Wicked. Gamble all the way. And the basket will count. It's a goal pick. Oh, Hornets. Kenny Gaddison, another player that a lot of teams have tried to trade for because he can rebound, block shots, and gives him size up front. Alonzo Morning with eight points. Trying to help out his teammates. He leaves Morning alone a little bit too much that time as he tries to push out. Morning steps right into the opening. McHale knows he makes a mistake. Chris Ford calls the quick timeout. His back turned with the shot clock way down. He just lobbed it over the top. Gamble, eye contact, caught it, made the shot. Parrish puts the move on Morning. Douglas with a force. Rebound, Parrish! That game's all 5-1 by Charlotte. Gill average better than 21 a game. Parrish! Rebound, Parrish! Out of the line, Newman called for the personal. A little fade by Parrish, but Morning turns his head to look at the ball. Parrish hustles right after it, and another offensive rebound. Another two points for the Celtics. Boston by seven. Johnson sets up Morning, and Morning was fouled in the second half of the season with the Denver Nuggets. Morning has been solid right through. Harris with a solid start here in the third quarter. 80% of the time, everything was centered around him when he first came in the league. The second, the altitude got to him. He got tired of Denver. <laughs> and Johnson able to rebound after that terrific effort by D. Brown. Johnson from Bowles. What a beautiful setup by Bowles and words between Alter Abbey and Johnson. Larry Johnson did not like the fact that he got shoved in the back going full speed. And his concern, obviously, is the injury that could have taken place if he winds up running into that stanchion full speed ahead. They're talking it out right there. I'm sure the words were that there was no intent to hurt anyone. Larry Johnson doesn't want a career ended by someone taking a deliberate foul against him. Johnson facing a double team, pops it outside. Bogues for Morning. And Morning is fouled. Durys looking to tie it at one. They head back to Charlotte for a game on Monday night. Morning called for a travel. Very tough afternoon. Here is McDaniel. He tried to challenge Morning. And it will be Charlotte Ball. That's the... Cal played by Johnson. That's a mismatch. Oh, what a rejection. Morning soaring over for the block. And the call here is a foul on Sherman Douglas, who says no, it should be a tie-up. Well, it started out with the anticipation Aldenabi was going to turn to the baseline. The teammate, Morning, comes over to help out his buddy, gets the block, and then it's a wild scramble for the loose ball. I think they smell blood out here. They are really fired up. And Alonzo Morning fired up with his fourth rejection. There are only three players in the league that blocked more shots during the regular season than Alonzo Mourning. That was Mr. Elijah Juan O'Neal and Mutombo that finished ahead of him in block shots. Johnson played by McHale. Five of the 24. Larry Johnson with a beautiful move beating Kevin McHale. It's fired up. They have the lead. McHale. Good penetration by Douglas and then he can produce more scores for Boston. Again, Douglas penetrated again morning. Not a piece of it. Another block by Alonzo Morning. A difficult first half. Look at this one-on-one -on -one move against Kevin McHale. He feels that McHale will not have the foot speed to play him off the dribble, so he st steps out away from the basket, faces up, and then takes him off the dribble. A series at one game apiece. Larry Johnson had a force at the shot clock running down, and it's a 24-second violation. Oh, what a play. Fox got inside, could not convert. Fox again. McHale with the tip. Gill off the dribble. Kendall Gill rejected by Robert Parrish. 
as the third quarter concludes. Parrish, feeling for morning. Robert Parrish brings Boston within two. Parrish, beautiful fake, and he drew the foul. They get him on that low block position. Not much effort that time by Morning to keep him off there until it's too late. You let the Chief get that close, he's going to put it down. The next time, Morning gambling, he's going to go baseline, loses his defensive position. The up fake by Parrish draws the body contact. McHale battling for position. Kevin McHale. side and most times it's going to be folks that they leave open to make the shot. Parrish with the basket and he was fouled. McDaniel is back. Curry on a quick release. Yes, so Del Curry has hit his last two. Angie has how quickly he gets it also. Why give him up? Those guys are hard to find. How about Kevin McHale? Fraction. One on the 24. Johnson hits. Johnson with the shot clock running down. McCann working at the same position. Uh, he's killing Gattison now. Same move by McCann. Curry. Morning is foul. The combination of Parrish and McCall. McCall and the moves he has down low, giving a lesson first to the baseline to Gattison with the jump hook. You saw Al Abdulnabi who learned from him. And then the next time, Shoulder in, let's turn a different way, get a look over the top, same result, two points. McHale comes outside, and McHale goes inside, and counts, and the foul! Well, the officials had to decide if it was in the act of shooting or not. There is the strip, the hit, and the shot attempt. It's a good call by the officials. It is a continuation playing defense. Crowd responds as McHale begins to make the move. Kevin McHale is being forced to take and make big shots for McHale. Charlotte. He will go to the line. They collapse on morning. Crowd wants a foul. Here's Muncie Bowes bringing it to a one point. That shot. Kevin McHale looked across the floor at his former teammate Larry Bird. Bird gave him a signal like, I like it, keep it going. McHale acknowledged him by pointing at him as if to say, this is for you, Larry. Take him out right now with three and a half remaining. Or will we have run out of gas here in the stretch run? Oh, strong move by Larry Johnson. Shot clock at four. Parrish. Be a little bit tired. He's going to be able to go right at him and take him off and into the hoop. And then Robert Parrish, when help is needed, winds up coming into the game and supplying just what the Celtics and McHale need, two points. With five on the shot clock, draws the double team. Down to two, down to one, Gill, yes! Oh, clutch shot by Kendall Gill. Larry Johnson had it knocked away. Gattison was stopped by Parrish. Here's Borden, he goes down, and he draws the foul. What? It's Brown who was open, but could not convert. Parrish, time runs out. Bones and Gill on the backcourt. They go right to morning. And Charlotte leads 93 91. The 13 rebounds. Parrish to the fadeaway. We're coming up on a minute to go in overtime. Larry Johnson showing quickness, whipping around McHale. In their timeout, it was to get the ball down low to Larry Johnson. And Larry, don't wait and try and back him down. Make a quick move on McHale. It pays off with two points. Three. Parrish with the rebound. Off the face. McHale fires. Yes. He's tied the game at 97. Sideline right into the post, which that's what they're doing. Here's Johnson with the shot. And we go to a second overtime. McDaniel had a knock to a Parrish retreat. Parrish off 
Here's the fake. Rebound morning. Larry Johnson now involved with Kevin McHale. McHale will go to the line. Gill for oh. Gaddison. Not played at all today. Here's Fox. It's Brown again for three. And that will wrap it. D. Brown finishes one for his last ten after the good start. And in double overtime, the Charlotte Hornets with their first ever playoff victory.